Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the PEMCO number 296 DPK. This is standard perimeter gasketing with black PEMCO preen insert and a dark bronze finish. So this is a six inch sample piece just for purposes of this video. And the 296 is representative of the dimensional size, the, the overall size of this gasketing. And there is an image down below that shows that, that this material is inch and three sixteenths overall height, right on. Got about three quarter worth of aluminum and then seven sixteenths worth of the holder, which is aluminum, and then seven sixteenths worth of the insert. Speaking of the insert, this is what they call Pemcoprene. It's a um, specific term used by Pemco to classify this as a uh, piece of insert that they use. It's not neoprene or silicone specifically. It would be a synthetic rubber that Pemco uses. They call it Pemcoprene. Um, I can't speak much to the uh, advantages of Pemcoprene, spe Pemcoprene specifically in the sense that telling you how it might be different uh, chemically from other inserts. But other inserts they would potentially offer would be vinyl and silicone and Pemcoprene. I find Pemcoprene is uh, a, an exceptional all-around insert because it's flexible and it's durable. It's going to be far less susceptible to break down with exposure to ultraviolet like vinyl um, would be. And it's a, it has a nice, you know, relatively thick uh, wall thickness, but still remains flexible. So the bottom line is many of their weather stripping inserts are Pemcoprene. So if your options are vinyl or Pemcoprene, go with the higher caliber one. It's a synthetic rubber is what it is. Uh, this is the D finish. This is a dark bronze finish that they have here. And again, just a six inch sample piece. Now this would be used as perimeter gasketing. It would be attached to the soffit of the frame, which would be the stop of the frame, but we call it the soffit. It would be screwed to that, and then your door would come and make contact with it. It would be appropriate for use as perimeter gasketing. I wouldn't consider it appropriate for use as an astragal. If I were to hold this, you know, horizontally, you can think of it as, you know, gasketing for the header. But to use it as an astragal on a pair of doors, I would not choose this. I wouldn't think that this material would mate very well with another piece of Pemco uh, preen sort of insert. So perimeter gasketing, the style, the uh, jams, the header. If it's a window, people have put this material on windows, you'd put it on all four sides. And again, when your door closes, it'll make contact with this material. One thing that you might consider doing, because it's a little bit larger in size, at that area where the jams and the header meet, you might miter those connections so that you have a nice tight continuous sort of seal rather than running one side long the, the jams let's say and then butting the uh, header to it the problem with doing that is you're inherently going to have you know a loss or a gap in the coverage so you might want to consider mitering that and if you do you might want to order longer pieces you know an inch or two inches or so longer just so that you have the ability to trim those correctly to size. That would be a very nice way to go about doing it. If this was the genuine article, there would be a slotted hole here for the screws, and the screws are included. It's a 6 by 5 8 uh, sheet metal screw that would be in a complementary finish. Now, there is supporting information down below, so let's switch to the screen view and take a closer look. Okay, so this is the item that we're looking at here, and we're just looking at the summary view of all of the different lengths that we have it listed in. And when you're ordering this, you know, if you need a 3070, order a 36 inch piece, and then find the 84 inch lengths, and order those as well. Okay, so here's the extended description. Pemcoprene, dark bronze, aluminum, fire rated, smoke rated, air seal rated, sound rated, Builders Hardware Manufacturers Association certified. There is installation instructions here, and these are fairly generic documents. Measure, cut to length, pre-drill your holes, and attach general sort of information. There's a cut sheet, and that will be just a dimensional review of the item itself. Uh, 
and there's a product brochure that's here as well and that will show you uh, the item that we're that we are looking at the 296 along with some of its immediate sister products uh, likely the most common uh, item that we see here is the 303 you know the 303 and a V would be very common very typical I wouldn't say low end but I would say quite uh, entry level because it'll have vinyl very thin aluminum extrusion if you're looking for gasketing and you want the least expensive the 303 very common because of that those reasons if you're looking to upgrade that um, I would although before I move on a feature of the 303 is that this vinyl returns back to the rear side of the material uh, of the aluminum holder and the reason it does so is because you know this material is so thin that it will very imperceptibly belly between the screw uh, mounting points but having that behind there is nice because any water that would get behind there you know the idea is that it will be stopped here so it's a it's a nice feature on it on a builder's grade or economy grade item if you're looking to go with something better you want to increase the surface size of your material but go away from vinyl to either a neoprene or a silicone sort of product here's your 296 again very nice because you have lots of surface area and it's highly compressible so it will be uh, very it will perform in such a way that it will be tolerant of needing to compress substantially in one area and maybe not so much in another area obviously you can continue on with increasing surface area you know and the more surface area you have the better attenuation you'll have for sound for transmission of or loss of you know uh, HVAC or heat whatever it is so be mindful um, the more money you spend generally the better end results that you will get on this type of product now there is a link here below the video to the manufacturer's page you can click on that and when that page comes up you'll be able to review not only all of the Pemco products that we sell by means of these links but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog older or past versions of the catalog are here along with a link to the A117.1 document which is the federal guidelines for usable buildings and facilities which is what you're needing to adhere to when it comes to the installation of uh, uh, of thresholds and that's why we have it on the Pemco page because the height the design the shape of thresholds is very much governed by federal law under under ADA uh, but this document would cover all such uh, instances of the federal law and it, when it pertains to accessibility uh, you go into a commercial bathroom and you're going to certainly have grab bars soap dispensers etc and that's all governed here so I have a link to it here because it's a helpful document to be able to have quick access to let's wrap up this video on camera okay very nice quality item the one thing that I wanted to tell you that I forgot after we switched from the screen view uh, was going to be the different finishes that this is available in and I'm going to pull that up now just waiting for the document to load okay so the 296 that can be done in a dark bronze powder coated finish a black suede powder coat finish a clear anodized aluminum finish a dark bronze anodized aluminum finish a white suede powder coat anodized aluminum finish okay uh, gone from there would be gold bright dip gold or just gold anodized aluminum finish that's that's gone uh, that's no longer listed but what's new relatively would be black powder coat what's even newer would be white suede powder coat um, that they have there they, white has been available in many items I don't know that it was available previously in a 296 but nonetheless it is now so different finishes that you can get there the difference between the dark bronze anodized aluminum and the dark brown powder coated uh, that dark brown powder coated is meant to emulate closer be compatibly more uh, cogent to 
using oil rubbed bronze material. Um, I'm not a fan of the dark bronze anodized from any manufacturer almost because while this is just a six inch sample piece, the material is very uh, brittle in the sense of the finish becoming easily scratched in my opinion. And it's not so much the use because you won't really make much contact with weather stripping when you normally use it. If you walk through the opening and your, you know, the, your your keychain will hit that material, I suppose, you know, you can scratch it. But before it even leaves the factory, they slide those parts together and they seem to get scratched. And this is, you know, there's nicks here, and this is actually a quite clean piece. The point is that the the 10 be the powder coated dark brown or dark bronze, that powder coating is an awfully durable finish. Powder coating is much more, it's commonplace now in the door hardware industry in the year 2020 compared to just five years ago. Um, so powder coating is incredibly durable when it comes to that. And black is a very in vogue color right now. And I suspect it will stay on standard lists for a long time. Uh, who knows how many years and decades gold had been uh, on the list because, you know, of how popular polished brass hardware has be been from the 70s and the 80s and in the 90s is when you really started to see satin chrome and then satin nickel um, but it's no longer available in gold so these things these finish you know finishes change with time the name Pemco is quite synonymous with weather stripping they have the most comprehensive product offering so if you deal with weather stripping you will certainly want to be familiar with the Pemco product line or at least where to find their catalog, you should bookmark that would be my suggestion. You can order these in custom lengths, and if you do so, order the next longest piece or pieces and simply indicate in the comment field the length you'd like for us to trim the material back to. The reasoning is you'll get a clean factory edge, and then you will get the, if this was the genuine article, there'd be a slotted hole, maybe four, five, six inches from the edge. You'll get that slotted hole at the proper distance from the edge, and then the proper center to center going down the length. That would be advantageous. Just order the next longest piece. Those slotted holes are handy because you want to be able to tailor that installation to really make proper contact between the face of the insert and the door. Not too little, not too much. Too little is having no weather stripping. Too much is going to prevent your door likely from operating correctly, which will certainly lend itself to premature wear, fatigue, and failure when you're using something beyond how it's meant to be used. So those slotted holes are handy to have in the proper locations. Any questions on the 296 DPK gasketing from Pemco or any other Pemco product, please feel free to reach out to us. Uh, and thank you.